Well, the purpose of this video is to help you recognize by formula strong acids, strong bases, weak acids, and weak bases. Here are some common guidelines to help you do this. It's useful to memorize the list of strong acids and strong bases that you will encounter in this course. Some common guidelines for weak acids and weak bases. Weak acids are not on the strong acid list, of course. They are substances that have a definable Ka, or an equilibrium constant, for a weak acid. And these equilibrium constants for weak acids are typically between 0 and 1, very small very reactant favored equilibrium. The common exception to this are nitrogen containing cations. They typically are in the form of an ionic compound packaged with a halide ion. There is also a substance called antholite. We will not encounter this often in this course, but they are ions from either polyprotic or polybasic weak acids or bases. These antholites can behave both as weak acids and weak bases. Regarding weak bases, all nitrogen-containing covalent compounds, with the exception of HCN, which is a weak acid, conjugate bases for weak acids, of course, need to be included in the weak base list, and they are in the form of an ionic compound, typically packaged with a group 1 metal such as potassium or sodium. My first observation is HCN. This is a weak acid. My second observation is NH3, a nitrogen-containing covalent compound, which is not HCN, and this is an example of a weak base. What remains is an ionic compound, potassium chloride, and these other two covalent compounds. Well, let's make an assessment on potassium chloride. Potassium is a group 1 metal. As far as we've learned, there's no acid-base activity for potassium. Chloride it is the conjugate base of a strong acid, HCl. Therefore, chloride has no base activity. If you recall from Gen Chem 1, potassium chloride would be a soluble salt or a soluble ionic compound. What remains do not appear on the strong acid or strong base list. Neither one contain nitrogen, neither one are ionic compounds. Therefore, we could conclude with some certainty that both of these are weak acids. I encourage you to Google HF and CH3COOH. You'll discover that HF is hydrofluoric acid and CH3COOH is acetic acid. Both have definable Ka's between 0 and 1 and therefore are weak acids. I also want to point out regarding KCl, this cannot be an acid because it has no hydrogen to donate. Also, KCl does not contain hydroxide, nor does it contain nitrogen. Calcium hydroxide is on the strong base list. HClO4 is on the strong acid list. NH3 is a nitrogen-containing covalent compound and therefore is a weak base. H3PO4 is not on the strong acid list. It has hydrogens which have the potential to be donated. This compound does not contain nitrogen, therefore is not a weak base. It is a covalent compound, therefore we could conclude with some certainty it is a weak acid. If you Google H3PO4, you'll discover that it is phosphoric acid. AGI, silver iodide, is an ionic compound. Iodide is a conjugate base of a strong acid. Therefore, it has no basic activity. Furthermore, AGI is a precipitate. 